Hey hello everyone welcome to my channel SAPSD and ABAP league support it is continuation series on SAPSD support project real time tickets it's a p1 ticket so business raised a ticket saying that in the inquiry outputs are continuously getting failed when we saw that statement saying that the output failing the inquiry we 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 realized that it was a simple issue because output is failing means something wrong in the inquiry or some user profile issue or some custom code written in the driver program something which we thought that is a simple issue only but later we started investigating that issue it's not that much easy for us we spent almost 2 days at a stretch and identified that issue as it's a p1 ticket we don't have time to sit and relax continuously we have worked on it and we have realized that we have fixed that issue okay let's me go through that issue okay so there is an inquiry uh, output has been failed you see here for example the output is jjdtr i have hidden the output up here due to some reasons and we know that the transaction code to access inquiries va11 to create va12 for change va13 for display the inquiry so here we see three entries in the inquiry three are same output type only but the first one the initially triggered when we save the inquiry the that time initial output will be trigger that one only failed but later if the user assigns the output manually see they have assigned the output manually twice at that time it was successful but during save of an inquiry the first initial output is failing only the rest of the times when we assign the output it successfully triggered and it is very strange right so we started digging into the tissue and you see here the very first time triggered output failed and we noticed that that output was created by the super user wf batch remember that wf batch is a system user or super user okay let me show you that the system for your better understanding you see see the transaction code to access user profile is su01 remember this and the user here is wf batch and click on display and click on log on data tab and you see here user type of wf batch is system user right and let me show my user if see i logged into the user common let me open common and display and you see common user type is dialog dialog means is a dialog user that means the person who interacting with the system sap gui is the dialog user so i am the dialog user system or super user means the person is not a person basically it's a system user that user will be called inside some standard programs only to perform some certain activities okay now let's get to the issue so this output has been processed by wa batch so whenever output processed by wa batch that time only that time only output has been failed and you see here the reason for the failure is please maintain an output device in your master data so this is the, it is saying that there is no output device assigned in the user wf batch and uh, i can show you that you see here in the wf batch uh, okay let me tell you the table also the table is usr01 user is wf batch it's my test system so it is maintained by it my project system output device not maintained the okay, same information we can see in yes u01 as well 
let me show you that w batch display default you see it is maintained here so this information will be stored in the table yes u s r 01 okay remember this table u s r 01 okay in my project system for this w batch user output device not maintained that's why output failed saying that no device maintained please maintain that user master data okay so when the user triggered the output manually that time the output has been successful you see right two times successfully output has been processed that means the user profile that user has the device maintained that's why that output is successful by the w batch user doesn't have device maintained so it is failed so we thought that is a simple issue and we can simply go and maintain the device no that's not that much easy to maintain the device in that wf batch user because there is a reason why no device maintained in the wf batch id in the production system there might be valid there might be several valid reasons might be there right and i would like to tell you one more thing is that the issue happened recently only but last 10 years that process working fine so remember this last 10 years the process working fine recently only the output is failing so then we can't blame w batch user right why now it's failing that we need to analyze now okay so is a w batch the output triggered by w batch so then we surprised how come w batch creating that output then we we opened that inquiry in va 13 and we opened that inquiry in vbak table as well in both places the inquiry also created by the user wf batch only okay and uh, if you see here several inquiries failed with the same user id w batch and you see the status is two two means red red means failed not only one inquiry several inquiries are getting failed later we understood that right the inquiry was created by the incoming idoc okay it's incoming idoc processor that idoc said inquiry and you see that uh, inquiry created 100 325739 and uh, here also you see the same inquiry number that means inquiry created through that incoming idoc that means inquiry that incoming idoc contains the w batch user and the w batch user only created that inquiry as well as the output as that uh, uh, user doesn't have output device output has been failed and if you see the screen here and as I told you, right, last 10 years it was working fine. Now only we have the issue. So why all of a sudden it's failing? So when we open that IDAC in the table EDIDS, okay, EDIDS is status record table. And if you see here, when the IDAC comes into our system, incoming IDAC, okay, remember that it's incoming IDAC. And you see that basic type is order 05 and message type is orders, okay. When that IDA comes to our system, the status is 50 and 64. Okay, we, we see there are four status here 50, 64, 62, and 53. In case of 50 and 64, the user is same. For example, the user is RFC underscore dead, 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 something, something. Okay, the first two status 50 and 64, the user is RFC triple Z, right when the status changing from 64 to 62 onwards it become wf batch so recently only the incoming idox user has been changed to wf batch when it processing from 64 to 62 messages status earlier throughout entire transaction the user is rfc triple z only but recently only w batch comes into picture and is creating the inquiry and you see that parameter 2 contains our inquiry number right so due to this w batch user id changes and the output has been failed 
that means recently only something went wrong which changed this w batch comes into picture and creating the inquiry and output so it's not that much easy to it's easy it's easy to maintain the device in the w batch user but w batch user is called several places by several teams p2p team logistics finance everywhere on the workflows idx every every team using and it this id getting called by several teams and it's processed everywhere so we don't know what might be the impact if we update the device into wf batch then how we did how did we fix the fix issue the fix we did here is that we analyzed why it has been determined wf batch instead of rfc triple z why it changed wf batch from 62 message onwards okay so and if you see okay okay let me tell you one more thing here there is one transaction code called x w e2 remember this let me log into our system again so we digged into that why all of a sudden w batch user comes into picture i'll show you in the system okay the transaction code is sw e2 let me note down the document as well sw e2 okay sw e2 uh, okay it's even event linkage okay for every objects workflow objects should be linkage will be maintained in the transaction code sw e2 for incoming idoc process there is an object type called idoc let me show you that yeah you see this entry idoc the event is process state reached and the task number is this one let me capture this and put it in the document it's a bor object okay it's completely related to the abap config only i mean it's it's completely for workflow config from abap end okay so okay let me it's a bor object object type is idoc even this process state reached is the task number if i open the task okay in my test system i mean in my personal system i don't have any data to show in this uh, task so i have given i have taken screenshot of other another system okay so the transaction code to access this workflow log is swi1 the t code okay the transaction code and if you see here and you remember you see the task number ts3022 triple zero nine zero and same task you see here right so the task you see here the first id is rfc underscore triple z only later it changed to wf batch so when the system started creating the transaction in the system that time wf batch has been determined instead of that rfc batch rfc user id you see the, we see the log here in that task for that particular idoc number okay so it has been changed so why it has been changed there is one config available in the transaction code o y e a let me show you in the system o y e a e a yeah so it's a global parameter for idoc interface okay let me capture this window put it in the document over ea okay in over ea we have one config here see, see the heading is idoc inbound from file 
okay so here we have an option synchronous processing as of now it is unchecked let's see the purpose of this field let me click on f1 here hmm. so it is saying that use this option if you don't want to use workflow processing or even driven processing in this case further processing is performed by the current user who created the idoc and not by the internal user wf batch so it is saying that if we enable this flag synchronous processing in that case the entire transaction right the entire transaction of the idoc will be processed by the same user that is rfc user which that has been started trans starting the transaction initiating okay it won't change wf batch if that is as that is unchecked what's happening is that later it is changing the to wf batch so by someone by mistakenly changed this flag they someone unchecked this flag by mistakenly moreover remember that it's a client open activity it's not a transportable activity this should be done by each and every client by opening the client we can't transport these changes okay so as this flag was unchecked the w batch user comes into the picture so the solution for this issue here is that to maintain the check maintain check for this flag after that w batch is not coming to the picture entire flow processed by the rfc user id only so this is all about this issue this video might be a little uh, long one but uh, it's required to explain this much as it's a p1 ticket and we should understand that issue here and fix also if you receive this kind of issues in project this video will be very helpful to you so after maintaining this uh, flag the issue has been resolved output not failed and throughout the transaction rfc user id will be there no w batch coming to the picture this is all about this video thank you for watching my videos and keep support me and do subscribe share my videos to your friends bye for now